Guys, this is Mr. Josh CJ, and this is your preview to the Newcastle United versus Manchester United match live on Sky Sports box office, 8 p.m. UK time kickoff. What an absolute disgrace and a shambles to the name Premier League that you've now got to pay an extra 15 fucking quid to watch a match. What the actual fuck? Has the Premier League actually thought this through or something? No, I don't think so. I mean, fans can't go to stadiums and watch it. Now, they want you to pay an extra 15 quid. It's an absolute disgrace and a joke and a shambles to the name Premier League. And all them Premier League teams who voted for this to be put in place should hang their heads in shame. Dear me. But anyway, this is the lineup what I'll go with. In goal, I'll play David De Gea. Right back, Aaron Wambasaka. Centre backs, Eric Bailey. Victor Lindelof. Left back, Alex Tellez. Yep, I'll put him straight in the team and let's see what he can do on this debut. And then central defence with Hild Matic. Then in the midfield, Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. Fred, and then on the wing, Mason Greenwood, and up front, Marcus Rashford. Yep, because Anthony Marshall is suspended, I would definitely play Marcus Rashford up front and Greenwood just behind him because if them two have a good game, they can cause Newcastle problems because both Rashford and Greenwood have pace. So... Anyway, my score prediction for this match. I'm going to go with a 3 1 victory to Manchester United. Again, I think we'll concede a goal because our defence this season has been nothing but shit. It's dreadful. It's been awful. Which is why I say we need to drop Harry Maguire. He got sent off for England last night. Ever since that incident in Greece, he's just not been in the right head space. So I think he needs a couple of weeks off. So I say let's play centre backs, Arik Bailey and Victor Lindelof. Yes, I know Lindelof has seen shit recently, but even Eric Bailey was shit in the last game. So. But Maguire is definitely not in the right head space. Marcus Rashford, when he plays up front, sometimes he's a bit hit and miss. But on a good day, he is a joy to watch up front. I never forget his debut when Lou Hannell brought him into the team because literally we had no strikers and put him up front and scored two goals on his debut. You see, on his day, Marcus Rashford is very good up front. So, Anthony Marshall, I think he will be a bit of a miss, but no doubt about it, Igalo and Dini will probably come on in the second half in the match. But I'm absolutely disgusted this match is on Sky Swords box office. I mean, it's bad enough for fans not being able to go to the stadiums, but now... Clubs want an extra £15. Disgusting. Absolutely disgraceful. There is no way I am doing it. Paying an extra 15 quid. I already pay £20 a month on the Sky Sports Now TV pass. Because I'm on a special offer where I get it for £20 for three months. I don't have BT Sports, but... I'm not doing it. I refuse to pay any extra. The reason why I pay for the monthly Sky Source Pass, as I said, is because I got on offer and I like to watch the Premier League games and also me being a massive F1 fan, I can watch all the F1 races. So that's another reason why I pay for the now team a monthly pass. If it goes up to 33 quid again, then... I'd only pay for a weekly pass, ten ninety nine, or if I wanted to only watch something twenty four hours, then nine ninety nine. But you know, to all the Premier League clubs, 
who fighted for their time, your heads in shame. Leicester were the only ones who fighted against it. But anyway, it is what it is, I'm afraid. Comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. Let me know your score predictions down below. And come on, United. Show some fight, passion and drive. And let's get all three points. All I want to see is Manchester United show some fight. Come on, United! Bye-bye.